Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm at the range, in the woods. I'm about ready to do some shooting, some recording, some reviewing, and I have a couple things on my mind that I want to share with you. And each involve engaging the viewers. They say, you know, you engage the viewers, it's always a good thing. I've always tried to do that from the very beginning. Get feedback from the viewers and I learn a lot. And it's, it's fun for me to do that. And so I am starting a new series called Tactical Yes or Tactical BS. And what this has to do with are the abundance of new products out there that are kind of cool, some are worthless and total junk and maybe not junk to everybody but i want to get the you know show some of these things and, and talk about it and say is this something that is actually tactical sound that you may use or is it some type of baloney that somebody's trying to make a lot of money on uh or maybe like a one hit wonder or something like that there are a lot out there and i've been thinking about this for a long time i was thinking about a, a catchy title and i came up with tactical yes or tactical bs in terms of products out there that maybe you would use but maybe not maybe it's stupid maybe it's nothing more than a money grab we'll check it out so that's something to look forward to and once again i want to get the viewers interaction so i already have some ideas probably start that fairly soon the next thing is this right here the Gearson Regard. I'm thinking about dumping this thing. <laughs> you know, when I first got it, I said, you know what? I picked it up for $400 locally. And it very much is a Beretta copy. And I like the gun. You know, it's got a, a 5.2 inch threaded barrel. Has many of the same controls as a Beretta 92FS M9. Starting to rain out here. <laughs> you may see that. But, uh, you know, G G10 grips, 18 round mags, very, very heavy double action trigger pull. But when I reviewed this, a lot of people said, hey, you know what? The gear sounds are great. You know, we understand they're made in Turkey, but they're a poor man's Beretta, perhaps. You know, the MSRP's 588 sells for the mid 400s. Pretty cool gun, but is it really necessary Wow, it's really starting to rain out of here, out of nowhere. Is it really necessary if you already have the Beretta? Because what happens is if I decide I want to shoot a gun like this, I'm grabbing my 92X Performance. And I've already faced that several times. I said, you know, I'm just going to grab the 92X Performance, which leads me to believe, do I really want this? What are your thoughts on the Gearson Regard? You know, in, in some of their other models, that are very nice copies, they, they copied the high power. Well, that's a little different because the high power is not being produced by Browning anymore. So that's, that's a little different. Brett is cranking out guns like this, you know, like I mentioned, one after another. Is there a need to keep this? Would you keep this? Because one of the things that, that really bothers me, and, and I have many regrets, I'm sure, is that you end up getting rid of something and then you regret it. I don't know that'll be the case if I get rid of this. So uh, just reaching out saying, hey, what do you think? Is, is this something that you would hold on to? Or is it something that really doesn't need to stay in the collection being that I have others that I would choose over the Gearson Regard? The last subject I want to talk about has to do with a couple new releases are coming out. This is just throwing it out there. There are some really cool, uh, two in particular, new release handguns that are coming out. I'm honored and fortunate enough to have my hands on them early. Both respected manufacturers, both priced very well, both very cool new releases. They're coming out in about a week and a half, and I've been so excited about this and i can't wait to share that with you and that's something that you're going to have to stay tuned to check it out and see if it's something that you are interested in but i love new releases because it's a wow skies are like clear as can be and yet it's pouring rain out of nowhere anyways 
I think that's something that you will be very much interested in. About a week and a half, they're, they're, they will be like one after another, totally different companies, but I'm excited for that and I'm excited to share that with you. So feedback across the board. I wanna hear about the new series if you think that is a, a good idea and any ideas you have about, hey, feature this product. This could be tactical yes or tactical BS. I want to know your thoughts about the gear sound regard. Is that something I, I you feel I may regret if I get rid of it? Um, I want to free up a little bit of money because there are some other things I want to get, which is a pretty good move usually. And the new releases, not much to talk about there. You'll see and hopefully you'll be impressed what is coming in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.